Hi, it's Mr. Lim here, and today we're going to be talking about green chemistry. Right. So, we're going to be learning about green chemistry, the 12 principles of it. So, we need to be good stewards of the environment, even when producing chemicals. So, it's green chemistry is not a specific discipline, but rather an overarching philosophy to try and make chemistry more sustainable and environmentally friendly. So, the idea is that let's not wreck the planet uh, whilst we make some chemicals. Okay, so here are the 12 principles. Number one, you prevent waste. So, you know, it's always better to prevent it than to have to clean it up because, you know, cleaning up costs money, so that's bad. Um, maximize the uh, atom economy. The idea is that you should be trying to um, use up all of your uh, reactant atoms, okay? And that ideally means that you should have a high yield, but it also means that, like, if you've got um, uh, a single... Uh, waste product and it uses the most of the um, the atoms so say you're like using uh, chloromethane and you only want the chlorine from it and you don't want the three hydrogens and the carbon then that's not very useful so um, you would like instead maybe use chlorine instead and then you'd use up all of the chlorine instead of using chloromethane okay um, Design less hazardous chemical synthesis processes. So it's effectively, these are just like, you know, processes. So design methods that don't make um, toxic stuff for humans or the environment. So even the byproducts um, and just don't make stuff that's bad for you. So, if, uh, you know, if, um, if you could create uh, something that removes rust and it's not bad for the environment, then that would make lots of money. So that would be good, you know. So that's the idea, just like the more chemical safe principles right so the idea is also that you can create chem safer chemical products okay so that's the idea of you make something that does the same thing but it's less uh, environmentally damaging all right um yeah those are the first four let's move on um use safer solvents and reaction conditions so not too high not too high pressure not too high temperature use solvents that don't hurt you if they you know blow up for some reason um, increase energy efficiency, and that's going to be something that we're going to be discussing a lot in the next couple of production of like various stuff, is that if you're going to produce something, use up all the energy. So if you've got an exothermic reaction and you need to cool it down, don't just cool it down and waste that energy. Use that heat energy to do something else. All right. Uh, use renewable raw materials. So in other words, just use renewable resources uh, to make your stuff. Um, avoid chemical derivatives. So the idea is that if you have to, um, if you have to have, say, chlorine gas to um, to to um, do a particular uh, reaction, don't get your chlorine gas from hydrogen chloride. Go get the hydrogen. Just go get the chlorine gas in the first place. Okay. So just don't. If you can skip steps because you can find the pure substance somewhere else, then that'd be nice. Okay, so number nine is catalysts, uh, not excess reactants. So ideally, you use catalysts to increase the rate of reaction instead of just having a whole bunch of reactants at high concentration. That will um, increase your rate of reaction without having so many wasted uh, particles. Okay, design chemical products that are biodegradable so that once you're done with it, like you can ideally get rid of it and it won't really break the planet. Um, analyze in real time to prevent pollution. Okay, so that's the idea that, you know, it'd be nice if you knew that you forgot to put in your catalyst immediately rather than like once you've closed your reaction chamber and be like oh it took me a full like month before i realized hey you know i forgot to put in the catalyst in there so therefore that's why the reaction's running so slowly all right so if you analyze it in real time you'll be able to see it and then make the appropriate changes immediately all right and then minimize the potential for accidents uh just generally don't uh, do things in dangerous conditions so like you know we're personal protective equipment and also like don't do things at super high temperatures super high pressures just make sure that everything's safe and within uh reasonable limits okay and that's all for green chemistry um pretty boring topic just what you need to know adios